I want to see if it can grab the attention of the public. So I've come into Deal to actually ask them for myself. So what do you think of my fantastic shed mobile? I think it's great. Seriously. How fast it goes? There you go, so you've got the engine right at the front. And you've got some seating here. So what do you think of it so far? Well, I don't see it, really see the point. Could I show you my shed mobile and see what you think? No, I've got one, thanks. I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's the bizarre thing I've ever seen. I think it's super. Self-propelling. Self-propelling, so you can take your shed wherever you'd like. I can see the potential in mm. it, no doubt about that, yeah. It doesn't strike me, really. No? I can't, I couldn't, I couldn't persuade no, you No, I don't think you could give me any. I think you, one could use this for lots of things. You so know. what sort of things do you have in mind? Sleep, keep a bicycle, right. It's not exactly aerodynamic, is it? No, I'll give you that. It isn't that at all, no. I suppose. But, but then sheds never are. Lots of writers use sheds, don't they? I, I suppose they do. I never I, really thought about that. Yes, yes, they do. Like Jimmy Cooper. You can take it on the road. You can take it on the road. It's going to be tax, MOT and insured. No, no, you could possibly take it on the road because Absolutely. it doesn't meet the construction. Oh, no, it will. That's the thing. So once no, I've got it no, 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 no. Impossible. Inside, yeah, I do it all black with little stars. Cool. See it, so I'll be all in the dark, whatever, innit? Oh, uh, the star's going to light up and stuff? Yeah, all that. Tweet, tweet. You know, you know the score. Oh, lots of comforts, you know. A nice little bar in the corner, do, don't do, do. you think? It's hard to have quite a lot of fun over it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> around all over the place. So in a way, it's better than a car, isn't it? It's a lot cosier. But if you crash, then that's it. Just... Well, splinters everywhere, obviously. That's yeah. the problem. So, a really nice young man you are. Thank you very much. It's just not going to catch on. Well, I don't know. I think it might. I think it might. I think one wouldn't have one indoors, would one? I, I love garden sheds, but I've never thought of a mobile one. Oh, the fact. I think it's wonderful. Whoever invented it's in that case. Bum. I came here on a mission to find out whether my shed mobile could attract attention the way I wanted it to. And it seems that the deal is, who knows? Some people think it's ridiculous, others love it. Either way, I learned an awful lot of things about sheds I never knew before. And I'm very excited. I'm going to finish this thing off, take it to France and see what the French think. Wish me bon voyage. As the English coastline retreats, I know how the great pioneers like Christopher Columbus and Yuri Geller must have felt. I'm crossing stormy waters into uncharted territory. Nobody has done what I'm about to do, and somehow, when it's done, life will never be the same. Now, this is very, very exciting. I'm now finally on French soil, well, nearly. Bit of French tarmac and metal first. And they've got green light to go. Calais, here we come. Calais may not be a pretty town, but the shed mobile sure is a handsome sight cutting along the boulevards. The lack of any real appreciation so far will not dampen my spirits. A busy spot smack bang in the middle of town seems like an ideal location for a shed. Well, here we are in deepest France. Well, the edge, actually. We are in Calais. But I found this fantastic old theatre as a backdrop for what I think is going to be a good way to find out what the French think about my shed mobile and actually British people and sheds in general. Unfortunately, I don't actually parlez vous Francais very well. So I'm going to have a look around, try out a few lines and see what happens. Mademoiselle, mademoiselle, tu veux pas venir? Non, non, non. Le désir, un, 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 un
Euh... Ils mettent des roulettes sur leurs abris et ils viennent devant le théâtre poser des questions aux Français. Uh, I think oui. Oui, 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 non, ça, ça, comme ci, comme ça, peut-être. Pourquoi pensez-vous qu'il est anglais au moins tant le habit de jardin quand il est en français? Pourquoi pensez-vous qu'il est anglais et mon ton le abri de Jordan comme en euh, français? Hein? Si vous voulez euh, conduire ou aimeriez euh, vous aller? Ah. <laughs> is it something I said? You really wouldn't go to uh, Cannes, maybe? Yeah, Monaco? Yeah, maybe a little bit Vienna, maybe, I don't know. Okay. Uh, comment est um, l'abri de Jordan? Tu vas rêver. Grand. Grand. Très grand. Très grand. Très grand. Très grand. Okay. Salle de bain. Oh yes. Oui. Yes. Okay. Bon, bon, salle de bain. Salle de bain. It seems that actually perhaps the French like sheds after all, but they want big ones with bathrooms. As to why we love our sheds, unlike our French cousins, the answers were indeed thought-provoking. Le jardin du Kent, c'est ça mm -hmm. Ouais, c'est très joli, beaucoup de fleurs de toutes les couleurs, des fleurs qu'on a oubliées, tout, c'est bon. C'est bon, l'Angleterre. J'adore l'Angleterre. J'adore Londres aussi. Okay. <rire> ouais. euh, dis donc, il y a à droite. À droite Ouais, à droite. Ah, c'est bon. En français, il y a à gauche. Ah, ok. So, we basically, we just drive on the wrong side of life, I think is what we're trying to say there. And uh, probably, I think that's what we're trying to say. You think maybe uh, British are crazy? Yes. Are we? Okay, excellent. Well, there we go. Well, thank you very much for your help. Merci. Bonjour. Bonjour. Au revoir. Actually. After a truly insightful day, it's time to show the Shedmobile the way back to the ferry. <laughs> 